Everyone who enters here is thoroughly checked. Each vehicle is recorded on video and every container is electronically screened from the outside. Every day, the Bremerhaven Container Terminal handles 3,000 trucks with cargo destined for locations all over the world. In the port security area, employees don't want to be recognized. The identity of the driver is checked several times. Information has to match the data from the container sender. Then one final control. A terminal employee checks the container, the truck, and the driver one more time before issuing permission to enter the port. Harry Moans is responsible for procedures and security in the terminal area. We're here to approve the container and load it onto the ship. We don't want to know what's in the container. That's important for security because if I don't know, then I can't influence it in any way. And that's exactly what we want and what we strive for. The person who loads the container does know exactly what's in it. And that's the start of the whole chain of transport. It's to be hoped that the recipient who later opens the container receives his goods undamaged. But the United States doesn't think the security controls in German ports are strict enough. The Americans are afraid that terrorists will hide bombs in the containers. For years, they've been calling for all sea containers to be X-ray screened before entering the U.S. This kind of screening is already being tested. But using it for all containers would be expensive. Experts say equipping all European ports with the technology for screening systems would cost more than 400 million euros. Harry Moans thinks it's not practical to screen every container. In the transport industry, time is money. Screening every freight container would slow the transport chain. It doesn't make sense to scan a container 100%, because the picture you can get with today's technology doesn't provide the desired result. X-rays are incapable of recognizing some dangerous substances, for example, poisons. Ingo Bost from the Bosch company has a possible alternative. He shows us a box that watches as the container is opened and sees what's inside. The container's path all over the world can be tracked from sender to receiver via satellite at a dispatching center. The opening and closing of the door is automatically reported, and motion in the interior is also reported. Such a box costs between 500 and 2,500 euros. That's because the boxes are produced in small numbers. It's a familiar situation in the car industry. For 10, 20 or 50,000 systems, then the price automatically falls. This system is already in use in special cases. For example, containers with high-value item contents, such as computers or other expensive high-tech products. But who would end up paying for the universal use of such security technology? Ultimately, the recipient pays. The one who receives the blue jeans or video recorder from Asia will have to pay a premium for the special security that this container has received. And that's understandable. It's still not clear what security controls in Bremerhaven will look like in the future. In the end, politicians will have to decide.